Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth on the Sony PlayStation 4. Continuing from where we left off, so at the end of the last episode, I switched my team around just because I felt like a bit of a change. Um, I'll probably switch back to some of the previous Digimon at some point, but why not use some new Digimon? Uh, it's not really difficult, the game, at this moment in time. I'll probably stick to a more finalised team towards the end of the story, but I'll try and mix it up every once in a while, but don't expect me to, like, switch Digimon multiple times per episode or regularly. Uh, I just felt like doing it at the moment. But anyway, did you guess who's that Digimon correctly? Let me know in the comments section. I wonder if anybody's on a totally winning streak at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so to continue on now, we have to actually uh, go over to Eden, but let's get up this first of all. We've got some replies to do. Okay, I may not look it, but I enjoy lying out in the sun, you know? How about you? So you enjoy lounging around in the sun. That sounds great. I'd love to join you sometime. Personally, I don't like to lounge around in the sun because I've got really bad skin. It'll just burn. I don't tan whatsoever. I just burn. <laughs> Check it. Which in training Digimon has a black fuzzy exterior? Um, isn't that the red one? I think it's the Botamon, isn't it? I'm guessing here. I can't remember. Another investigation complete. My friend asked what I'd do if I became human, but I honestly have no idea. You haven't been around humans all that long. Let's hang out and talk more, and then you can decide. <laughs> I'm glad the farm's so safe. I could just nap all day. Okay, not really. Wow, Vidramon's like super lazy. <laughs> we have dangerous battles ahead of us, so make sure you train here on the farm. Okay. Right, if I remember, we need to go to the entrance and there's something we need to look at. It's not always clear what you need to do, so I do suggest looking up a guide if you ever get stuck. Stop looking at me! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of strange. <laughs> Why not? Why not welcome a bit of strange in your life? Oh, let's have a look at the shop for a second. See if they've got anything new. Nah. Actually, uh, how many of these do I have? I've got 60. Oh my god, really? Let's get some of these though. Ten. Why not? I've got the molar, the money. Money, money, money. Isn't funny. Nightmare Eater difficulty two star. Client, Occult Research Club's Monica, place Eden. My digi line is weird, it keeps transmitting without me doing anything. Please find the cause. And a cybercrime. <laughs> no, we deal with cybercrime. She's gonna come to us, isn't she?
hot manly boyfriend. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got the goods. I'd give him a peek any time. Oh my god, this is getting serious and sexual. <laughs> they look normal to me. I'm used to these types of messages. I mean, I don't wear a bra, for god's sake. I'm speaking on behalf of Kyoko, by the way, not myself. Of course I wear bra. I see, so she didn't put them up herself. Oh, I seriously wouldn't mess with one though. Ouija board. No thank you. Stay away from that. What about you guys? Have you messed with one? Oh, they're also called spirit boards, aren't they? And what experience did you have? Split personality. Just try and find me. Huh. So she just did that there and then, and obviously because Manika is in front of her, she's seen that she hasn't replied to it, so somebody else has replied. Or something. means it's right up our alley. That's scary, isn't it? I don't know if I'd want to use Edin then, if someone could hack into my avatar and look up my memories and my true feelings. It's like someone breaking into your diary. I don't want my secrets exposed.
good. Oh, yay! It's that Digimon. Remember, with the... Uh, oh, what was the quest called? Something Ice Maiden or something? With the uh, conditioning being all cold. So is he part of the crew now? Pete's awesome. Pete's a member of the sleuth team, yay! <laughs> The answer is Batomon. It'll be over here, won't it? Pete's really getting into it. It's a little kid! Explains the arrogance, I guess. You are a kid, though! You're too young to be interested in girls, man. You're not ready for that. You won't know what to do. <laughs> Your tools aren't ready. There we go. <laughs> Impressive. He is a genius, isn't he? I suppose he has a right to be arrogant. <laughs> Quite the resume. Wow, he designed it.
Yeah. We shall see. He is really intelligent though for his age, isn't he? And he fell for you, probably. I think it's one of those things where young boys like that, especially in school, they would be like, oh, you know, they'd be really mean to the girl that they liked, wouldn't they? They'd do horrible things and stuff to the girl that they fancied. Kind of like in Hey Arnold, where the girl beats horrible to Arnold. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but because she's like totally in love with him, but she is really horrible to him and calls him football head. <laughs> Another investigation complete. So where exactly do we need to go now? Downstairs. Thank you for being there to show my thanks. I sent you a present. I don't know what that present is though. There we go. Right. Let's just go back to the Digilab and set something else on to uh do to investigate. Oh, there we go. I don't know what that one is. I know what that one is. Twenty five percent cam. <sighs> Okay guys, well I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. Remember, likes and comments are very important on the Let's Play walkthrough, it shows me you guys are enjoying it. Good luck on the next Who's That Digimon, and as always, take it easy guys.
Who's that Digimon? 